as dorky and silly and nice it is to have someone who is saying those things to you, this is just kind of, I don't want to say like a character, but, um, like essentially made to be perfect, perfected for the listener. I would consider myself to be very caring and kind of shy and dorky. I do love cuddles and stuff, so <laughs> I don't know if that helps describe my true personality, but yes. Okay. <laughs> and then David asks, how would you describe yourself? And is there any song in which you can relate or feel how that specific song defines a certain aspect of your everyday life? Wow, that is such a good question. But the first question, how would you describe yourself? Again, I would describe myself as a dorky, cute, caring person, I guess. And this one's cute, like, that's what people describe me as. I don't think I am cute, but oh well. Um, <laughs> but yes, I'm definitely caring. I care a lot about the people around me, family and friends and whatnot. And is there any song in which you can relate to or feel how that specific song defines a certain aspect of your life, everyday life? Oh my goodness, that's an amazing question, but I don't really know because I like a lot of the music that I have been listening to is romantic or has a lot of romance feels to them and to be honest, I'm a single so I don't think it would like describe me yet I do remember a song then I shall answer this question in another audio or something because I think there, it, there are songs, I just can't think of any right now Shauner02 asks, will you ever do a face reveal? Probably not, um, to be honest, just for privacy reasons. If anything, I would probably just show half my face, not my full face. Uh, Joshua Fairweather says, You deserve it, Sarah. Your audios are honestly the best. You're so good at what you do. Thank you, thank you so much. As I said before, you're my favorite ASM artist. That is very sweet of you to say. His question is, what is the best way to battle social anxiety? Because I've really struggled with mine recently. Hope you have a great Christmas and a new year. I look forward to your q &A. That's very sweet of you. I hope you had a great Christmas and new year as well. Well, I get a lot of social anxiety as well, and in no way am I doctor or therapist or anything. But I can say, like, the way I've dealt with it is that if I need to do something and I need to get over my social anxiety, I kind of just try to motivate myself and pep myself that I can do this and that this is just uh, another kind of way for me to get out of my comfort zone and face something. And life isn't always comfortable, so I gotta tell myself to kind of get through it, and that once you're there, um, just think about, you know, maybe coming home, or like just cuddling in bed, and just watching a good movie, just trying to get myself to get through that, and just saying that this is only a temporary thing that you will get over, so, I don't know, it's not like a professional thing I would say, but it is something that has helped me. <laughs> Marcus Tilius Cicero, I think that's Cicero, yes, yes, um, the question, will you marry me? Um, <clears throat> um I, I don't know, <laughs> I, 